Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to hello. OK. Um, show you how to go ahead and write the equation when provided the center, the focus, and the vertex. Um, but to be able to do that, we first want to understand, is the major axis horizontal and vertical? Because that's going to help us determine which type of equation or how the equation we're going to write. So to do that, I'm going to want to um, plot the information I have. The center is at 4, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And I'll just label that with a C. Uh, the focus is at 9, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 3. And the covertex is at 4, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, now, um, remember that when we are looking to identify uh, the major axis, the major axis, what lies on the major axis is the vertices, the foci, and the center. Not, and the covertice, it lies on the minor axis, which is perpendicular. So remember, both covertices and the center lie on the minor axis as well. But that's going to be perpendicular to our major axis, which only the center, my foci, and my covertices lie on. And so therefore, we can see that my vertices have to lie on this horizontal line. Therefore, since I know this is a horizontal line, I know my major axis is going to be horizontal. And therefore, my vertices are going to lie on this line as well. So when I know that, I can write the equation for a horizontal major axis of an ellipse. So it would be x minus h squared all over a squared, where a represents the distance from the center to the vertice, which we don't know. But a is always going to be larger than the distance from the center to your covertice because that's the major axis. And so when it's horizontal, a is under x. OK, very good. So now here's our equation. Now let's go and plug in the information we know. We know our center is 4, comma, negative 3. Well, the center we can rewrite or we write as h, comma, k. Notice the formula is x opposite of h opposite of k. So we know h is 4 and k is negative 3. So therefore, I can write x opposite of um, 4 would be negative 4 squared plus y opposite of negative 3 would be positive 3. And now we need to determine what a squared and b squared is. Now, a is the distance from the center to your vertice. b is the distance from the center to your covertice. Well, I can simply just see that this is 1, 2, right? I'm going down 2, and I'd have to go up 2 units to find the other covertice. I know it doesn't look as similar. So therefore, I can say b is equal to 2. Um, now, we do have a foci. And the distance from the center to the foci is actually c, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, So we know c is equal to 5. We just don't know what a is. However, there is a relationship between a, b, and c that we can use to solve for a. Because we know b, b squared would be 4. Um, now we just need to figure out what is a. So the relationship is c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So now, all I simply need to do is enter in the information I know, which is c, so that's 25, equals a squared minus 4. Now, I'll just go ahead and solve for a squared. So I'll add 4 to both sides. And I have 29 equals a squared. It's a bad a. OK? So now, I can see that a squared equals 29. And this equation, of course, equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of ellipse when given the center, the focus, and a covertex. Thanks.